What is the future of education looking like? Something I've seen recently is that universities may or may not start looking at content creator as a viable career or option. Are people going to be majoring in social media? Is that going to be just marketing with an emphasis on social media marketing? At the end of the day, so many kids want to become YouTubers now. If you look at the statistics, how many kids want to be YouTubers now? Kids from ages 8 to 12 all want to be YouTubers. They all want to be content creators. It seems like such a viable option for our youth. And where the attention economy is going, that's where the money is at. So it makes people wonder and think that creating content equals success. So is it going to be the new lawyer, the new doctor? Is that going to be the new thing to be when you grow up? What do you guys think? I personally think that we should probably have it. Because at the end of the day, people are already doing it. People are already going to spend a lot of time on it. So you might as well at least teach people the best methods and ways to become successful at this kind of career. Something else that I wonder is that with technology obviously on the rise, there's different platforms with ed tech, educational technology, where you go on an online platform and you learn things through these online schools. When you increase these types of things, we all saw after the coronavirus pandemic with Zoom, everyone's doing basically school online. To me personally, when I was graduating and I was in this Zoom class, I remember thinking, log in, why? Because I wasn't paying attention. Come on, like I'm not learning anything. It's pandemic, it's this, it's that. But is it really as viable as in person? Are you really as productive or really learning as much on the computer as you are if you're really in class? Personally, I really enjoy the in-person connection and I do enjoy learning that way. But I will say as well that I learned a lot of things on YouTube. YouTube University has been the best teacher I've ever had. You learn so many things on YouTube. But it's different when you're sitting there watching a video and you want to ask a question to the person there, but it's like, I can't ask them a question. So is there going to be a balance or something in the middle of then someone teaching you something, communicating something to you, but online? So where are we going with the future of education? Nowadays, what are kids learning in elementary school, middle school? Are they learning these social skills? Are they learning the ability to communicate with one another? Why aren't they reading and writing properly? Nowadays, kids are want to be behind the phone. They want to be behind the iPad. They want to learn to do coding and do different types of technological things, but they're not reading and writing properly. Kids in middle school aren't even learning the analog clock anymore. They're not even learning nickels, quarters, or dimes anymore. So they're not even learning things that we used to learn growing up. So then is their landscape of what they're going to do in the future going to be a lot different than from what we did in the future? Nowadays, kids don't even have cursive or writing skills. I remember taking cursive class where we're writing on in cursive and every letter and you got graded on it. But now kids aren't getting taught how to do that. A lot of their writing happens by typing. But is typing the same as writing? What do you think? I personally think one of the biggest things is the behavioral knowledge. So for example, the grading system when I was younger was fours was like excellent, threes was good, twos was eh, one was bad. I remember getting fours and threes in all of my knowledge things, learning, math, sciences, whatever it was, but I was getting ones and twos in behavior. I was getting ones in distracts the class. I was getting twos as interrupts. So I was a little bit of a rambunctious kid. But the report card said that. It showed that to my parents that he's doing well in school, but his behavior is pretty bad. Okay, there's some things we can mitigate and fix. But nowadays, kids aren't getting that same response back. The disciplinary measures aren't the same anymore. And it got me wondering and thinking, then what is that going to do in the future? Because at the end of the day, every kid is interrupting now. Every kid is doing this thing, not just a select few. So what happens to the, the environment of the classroom when this is the status quo. And what's the future of technology going to do in our education system? Are people going to put on headsets and live in this virtual world of learning things? Maybe it could be really cool. Say you want to be a mechanic and you're in a virtual reality headset where you're learning different tactics before you even go into the mechanic shop. But couldn't you just go into a mechanic shop? Does everything need to be virtual reality? Does everything need to be in the cloud or can we just go back to physical things something i think is pretty cool though is personalized learning and things like study island and math 24. i use them those things did help that study island was personalized learning but now they can use ai to basically mitigate what they need to learn based on your previous mistakes based on your habits based on the things that you tend to get wrong so how do we figure this out do we advance ai into our education or is it gonna do more harm than good and if AI is creating the questions and then AI is answering it, then AI is now doing both sides. The kid is using the AI to answer the question and teachers using AI to generate the questions. This makes no sense to me where the creativity is going away. Yeah, it's making it easier for both parties, but are we really learning anything anymore? Even if it comes down to language learning, language learning is such an important skill and it actually helps develop your brain in so many different ways. People even say that, if you speak multiple languages, you also have different personalities per language. 
but in the future, there's gonna be AIs that basically translate every single amount of video into whatever language you want it to be. And then even more so in the future, I guarantee you that I can be speaking this in English and you could be listening to it in any language you want through just the internet and it'll change it the way we change captions. That's insane. Something else that is a worry of mine is educational equity, is understanding that some kids won't be as privileged to have some of these different tactics to get better at things. Will less fortunate kids be able to use the same tools where there'll be actually be a balance now where everyone can learn? So where is the future of education going? It is a worry because again, when I speak to teachers, they themselves don't even know because they see so many problems happening in the school systems, but don't even know how it's really gonna be solved because it's almost like the ball is rolling and everyone's trying to catch up and the ball is rolling faster than they can even catch up. So what do you think? If you are an educator and you're seeing things and are trying to solve the problem, I would love to know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share it to all your friends. Thank you so much for being a teacher because a good teacher is worth their weight in gold. I'll see you next week on another video.